Hey everybody. In today's video, I'm going to show you a super fun hack for getting word dyes to look like you've embossed them or enameled them. This is something that someone in my class group where I do my daily lives told me about, and I had never done it before, so I was eager to try it. And I'm using a layering word dye. The word dye says seriously. And I'm using that for a Christmas card. So I want the bottom layer of the word to be white. And then I will pop up the faux enameled word on top of that white layer. I'll speed this up just a little bit. I'm going to just run it through my blossom machine. And that will give me my first layer. Now the second layer for the first example is going to be just flashing tape from Home Depot. This is used for ducts and things like that. There are all kinds of fun things at Home Depot that we can use for crafting. And this works great if you have a roll of this in the garage and you don't happen to have any foiled cardstock. So I'm taking the top layering portion of the die after I put the tape on some cardstock and smoothed it out with an old gift card and cut that out and then I'll have a nice silver shiny piece. Now what's great is if you don't have embossing powder, if you don't feel like embossing, let's say it's super late at night and you don't want anyone to hear the heat gun, this is a great way to get a faux embossed look on a word die and it's not messy which is amazing love it so you can see how shiny and fun and smooth that is and what it looks like layered onto the white base i love that this says seriously because you can pair this with so many other sentiments both funny and snarky and everything in between Next, I'm going to do my favorite one of all the ones I tried, and that is just using colored cardstock with the top layering portion and a piece of my super quiet packing tape. So this gives you, again, an enameled or embossed look with just a piece of tape. So amazing. Packing tape is always something that I have, and I especially love my ultra quiet packing tape because there's nothing that makes me crazier than the sound of packing tape. And this stuff really is quiet. So I'll link you to that below. But I will run it through my blossom machine. Now you might need to shim it or run it through a couple of times when you're using different thicknesses of tape. So just take a look at what your tape does. And if you need to run it through again, then you can just do that. So I will free it from the die with my little quick stick and then let you see how cute and shiny this is. This die happens to come in pieces so you can sort of space out the letters if you want. They're not all connected. Uh, it gives you a little bit more freedom when you're designing how the word looks on your card than if it was just all together. So now I will remove the silver just to let you see what this looks like because this really did end up being my favorite of all of them. And this was the one that my friend suggested. She said it's a really old technique, but I had never heard of it. And that's why you should always share the things that you find that are fun because there's going to be someone that's it's new for. And I've been stamping a long time and this was new for me. But look how beautiful that is. It looks like you covered it with a glaze or you clear emboss several layers on there. And all it is is a piece of tape and some cardstock and you die cut it. Amazing. I can think of a million ways to use this. Now I will try a couple more kinds of tape. I found a really fun tape on Amazon 
when I was thinking about doing this technique. It's actually a tie-dyed tape that's really beautiful. I'll link you to it. And I think that that would be really pretty too. I think even that, maybe even in combination with packing tape would be gorgeous. But this is another duct tape. So it is a sort of decorative tape, but it has a little waffle weave in it that I really like. So instead of that smooth silver foil look, you'll get this little woven look from this kind of duct tape. It's this sort of texture you're familiar with if you're used to traditional duct tape, but this one has a chrome finish instead of the dull silver finish that you're used to seeing. And it just really adds a lot of interest to this word dye. So when I pull these out, you'll be able to see the texture. Just a fun sort of subtle background plaid adds a lot of interest to those little skinny letters. I really like it. And you can see the difference between the two different types of smooth silver versus the textured silver. Finally, I will use drywall tape, one of my favorite tools. This is for patching or repairing drywall, and it has a very low tack on it. So it can be used over and over and over again. Never throw a piece of it away. You can use it forever. And it makes a beautiful little plaid if you just ink blend over it, which I'm doing with Gina K ink and life-changing blender brushes. It just gives me a fun stenciled sort of look with just a piece of tape. And then when you cut that out, you'll have little letters that have sort of a happy little plaid on them. You can see what I mean here. Each one has a little pattern on it. You could do this too with just cutting out some pattern paper with your word die. But I love how you can customize it with this tape and just give it kind of a festive little look. I like it a lot. I still think my favorite of the whole bunch though is the clear enameled look that you get from just the plain packing tape. So that's what I chose for my card today. Head over to see more from today's fun release of stamps and stencils. And thanks so much for watching.